All right, guys, we are back in the skybox, and that means we have another Deco Crate unboxing video. Uh, if you do not know what Deco Crate is, it is a monthly subscription box filled with all of home decor and items like that in Second Life. Uh, for more information on the prices and where you can get it, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description, and it will have everything you need in there. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this. So once a month, if you sign up to get this box, you will receive a crate like the one you see here. And all we need to do is click on it to open it. And on the inside, they show you the monthly theme. As you can see, the theme for this month is Harvest Moon, which I am super excited to see what all of these goodies are going to be. Um, uh, so once you get it, all you need to do is unpack all, or you can individually click on all of these drawers to the left-hand side of the box and get everything individually from the creators. Uh, I already unpacked it, so let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we have is by Shea Moi, and we have a fall picnic set. With this picnic set, you get this adorable table set with these little pumpkins all across the center. You also have the leaves that can go underneath or you can just decorate them around the table and the gazebo, which has like curtains almost hanging from the beams, which is super pretty. I really like this set. A nice feature about the dinner plates themselves is you can actually change the food that is on the plate. As you can see, I have a nice yummy looking croissant and some soup. There are also different poses that are with the table itself. Uh, there are single poses uh, for both male and female eating and love, which is cuddle poses. There is a PG and adult version for this table. So it all depends on what you really want to do. Next up from Hextraordinary, we have the Harvest Lantern. This lantern is too cute. I love the, uh, the branch with like the little flower buds coming off of it, wrapped around. This is a really pretty lantern. Next up from Revival, we have a park bench. Of course, you can sit on the bench, and it has a nice draped over blanket right in the center there. I love the texturing of this wood. Let's see, we have male and female poses. And some cuddle poses that you can do with uh, your significant other. This is really nice. I like this bench. I will definitely be using this. Next up from Peaches, we have the Rustic Harvest set. And this is a lovely bathroom set. As you can see, there is a nice basin sink with a mirror. Both of these pieces come in a separated version or you can res them out as one piece together. And then of course you have this uh, towel rack, which is like a wooden ladder. You can see that there is a shadow layer to it, so if you have this against a wall, it would actually show up a lot better than what it is right now. Next up from Cheeky Pea, we have Autumn Harvest. This is a wonderful little set. I love it, it is too cute. I like the string lights that are coming uh, from either side of these little potted plants. And the pumpkins and the hay bale. Of course, you have some poses with this set, and right now I am eating an apple. You have your singles poses, as well as your couple poses. Oh, this is cute, I like this. Next up from Bad Unicorn, we have the Sanderson Shack. And this is a reser, so we actually have to res out this shack. To res it out, all you need to do is click on this reser box and then click res and it will res out the shack for you. Ooh, this is cute. I like this shack. Of course, you can open the doors. 
Oh, this is nice and cozy. I love the feel of this. It almost reminds me of like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory shack. Like, you know, the small house that they live in? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I love the smoke coming out of the chimney. It looks so cool. This is a really neat little house. Next up from Crescendo, we have the Silo Bar. This is really neat looking. It's like an old refurbished silo that they kind of turned into a bar. I really like this. Um, it comes with two separate pieces, the bar itself and then this stool that you can sit on. The stool comes in both male and female poses that you can do. Next up from Maroc, we have the Autumn Barn. This is a really neat looking barn. I love how they have the little leaves on the roof and just all the imperfections in the wood itself. It really gives the building character. This red door here, you can actually open. And then as you come inside, you can actually see all of the open space that is in here. I really love this building. It looks so nice. I just love the rustic feel of it. Oh, and the door auto closes. <laughs> now, if a small barn isn't what you were looking for, then Conveyor has you covered with their Berkshire barn. The door over here clearly opens and it leads you into the main area of the barn. Now, this barn has multi-story lofts. You have your main floor, which is where I'm standing, your second floor, which is this middle loft here, and then you finally have the top floor here. This barn is too pretty. For the top floor, you can have this barn exposed open at the top. You can also open this door in the front here. And then there is an actual, like, normal door door here at the very front. And it all has this, like, withered, paint-chipped type texture to it, which I really love. On the inside, there's also this, like, side portion to the barn itself. And there's another more normal-looking door here that leads back outside. Next, from DAD Design, we have a covered bridge. This is too cute. I love the design of this bridge. I like how they actually have a, a roadway for like cars or bikes or whatever you would have going across this bridge. And then another smaller section for like pedestrians to actually walk across. I really like this. This is too cute. Next up from Mesh India, we have the Harvest Moon Pack, which comes with all of these really cute decorations. As you can see from the folder, all of these items can be resed out separately, or you can use the full set reser to actually res everything out in the scene that you see I have here. This leaf rug is really cool. I like how they actually have all of the different veins on the leaves. This looks really neat. This would be really good for any uh, type of fall party that you have, or even just like an entrance table in your home. That would be really nice. I really like this tree light. It looks so cool. Next up from Mud Honey, we have the Grace Rocking Chair. It comes with two different versions. They have one version with the pillow and the blanket on it, and then the normal version without the added uh, pillow and blanket to it. Of course, you can sit in both of these chairs and you can select a rock and it will actually rock. And then you have your different kind of sitting poses that you can do in it. I can definitely see this being used on a front porch somewhere and just relaxing and rocking away and sipping a cup of tea or coffee and just enjoying the afternoon or the day. <laughs> I really like this. You can also change the actual texture of the chair itself. So there's teak. There is the black wood color. Beach is the version that is resed out with it originally. And then we have white. 
And then of course the chair with the blanket and the pillow, you can change the textures of both the blanket and the pillow to whatever you would like it to be. And then you have all of these different designs for the pillow itself. This is really cute. I love this chair. Next up from Pew Pew, we have the harvest chairs and branch planters. So what you get with this is a cloth covered worn painted chair and a bucket with some branches in it. I really love this decor piece. I like it when pieces of furniture look old and worn and just antique looking. It gives things character and it makes things look interesting. Uh, the branches in the buckets themselves can change uh, texture color so you can make it the white branch or the brown branch whichever you would like um, and then it comes in the two different versions of the chair itself so you have the white chair where it has like the little white splatters of paint all over it and then the brown chair. And then of course if you just want the bucket and not the chair with it you can uh, use just the bucket options as well. Next up from Serenity Style, we have the Raven Dream in the porch. It comes with this bench, which has these floating leaves, which I absolutely love. And then uh, a small, almost trough looking item with these little pumpkins in it and some uh, branches with leaves on them. I love this decor. The bench itself, of course, you can sit on. There are female, male, and cuddle poses. Oh, this is too cute. I love this. I just love how they have the leaves suspended in the air. Of course, if you do not want the leaves and you just want to use the bench, you can uh, get rid of these leaves separately. Um, so yeah, you do not have to have the leaves if you don't want them. Last but not least, we have from Vagabond the tractor seat and tray table, which I am absolutely in love with. This is a suspended tractor seat, as you can see by the two hooks that would go into a ceiling. Um, and at the end of it, there is an actual tractor seat. I love this seat so much. <laughs> and then it comes with this tray table, which looks really cool. Oh, I love this. There are different uh, poses that you can do with this seat. So there we go. That was everything from this month's deco crate. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and loved everything just as much as I did. Uh, again, if you want to find out where to actually get this crate or you want to subscribe for the next one, go ahead and check out the link in the description and it will have all of the information that you need. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you have a wonderful day.